Hello everybody, my name is Anthony, and welcome back to Let's Play Victoria 2, Divergence of Darkness. Let us continue on from where we last left off. So, we're at war, well we're at war with Hungary, we're at war with Venice, but we're not really doing anything to get involved with that. Like, it, it's, uh, it's past the Commonwealth, there's a whole, there's like five countries in between us and Hungary, so I don't really care. And the only thing they're doing is we're trying to get Hungary under Bohemia's influence, so, like, it doesn't, it doesn't concern me. I don't care what Bohemia does. As long as Bohemia wins their war against Scandinavia, that's all that matters. And I can't actually join that war. I can't join the war I want to join in. Sadly. I mean, I wish I could. It would be fantastic. Also, is this a sub-state? No, it's a satellite state. So it's slightly different. Like, these are sub-states. This is a satellite. So we can't... When does this acquire sub-state? Does it annex the sub-state? This is acquire a region from an enemy sub-state. I don't... We'll acquire sub-state region. So, I'm assuming it just takes state before the sub-state, so... We might have to do that at some point against the Commonwealth, just in order to take a curse here. We'll see. I'm, I'm hoping that maybe we can just become a great power, sphere of them, and then, you know... Everything there will be a-okay. Maybe. Or it might go really badly. Not too sure. I imagine at some point, probably when you get nationalism and imperialism, which is... I mean, it's pretty far away. 1860. I'm assuming the Commonwealth does have an event just to annex all these guys into one big country. So probably around 1860 they're just going to full annex these guys. Um, well, 1860, maybe 1870 at the latest. So we'll see. It'll be, uh... It will be worse, I guess, if they do just get these guys independent. And I wonder if these guys get independent, they just turn into Poland. Which would make sense, because well, well, like Lithuania, it's not really the Poland, Poland Lithuanian Commonwealth, is it? But either way... We got our five, uh, 524 stacks on the Novgorod border. We can't actually attack them yet. Uh, our truce expires. Um, oh, January. Oh, very, actually, very, very soon, which is interesting. Because we could theoretically, I think, attack Novgorod. They're, they have no allies, but they are under Scandinavia sphere. But Scandinavia has 45 brigades currently in a massive conflict with uh, Bohemia. Which they are losing, and they can lose a bunch of territories. They can lose, like, all of their European holdings, or their mainland European holdings, excluding Denmark. So we'll see. But I'm hoping, I think we might just go and do it. They have 23 brigades, we have 40. I mean, are they mobilized? No, they're not actually in a war. We've got a 24 stack there, we've got a 24 stack there, which is... How many men is that? There's... 8 per 24, so... That's 16, so that's most of their army. They probably have one smaller stack, maybe somewhere like further north. I'm not too sure. Probably actually somewhere up here with the border with the uh, Sabir. So what do we do? Like, do we just attack? We, we, do, we do outnumber them. We have about like three times the population, so I'm assuming we can mobilize a lot more troops as well. But we will need to mobilize if we actually do plan to attack Novgorod. But the problem with that is... Well, it's hard to say, like, is there a point to attack Novgorod before we're a great power? Because if we're a great power and Scandinavia gets involved, because there is still the slight chance that Scandinavia doesn't even bother getting involved. But if we become a great power before this war, we can do the take from Sphere against Scandinavia and just take all of Novgorod and even maybe even take uh, Piskov here as well. If we can do that, then I'd make it, you know, a lot quicker to actually, um, a lot quicker to form Russia. Because what else we need? We need, we don't need like nationalism, imperialism, right? It's just, it's just get the, uh, yeah, it's just have the cores. Like, we don't even need to be a great power, technically. We just need the cores. But, you know, having all the cores will definitely be tricky, because in order for us to get all the cores without being great power, we would need to full annex Novgorod, full annex Peskov, and then annex half of Ukraine. So, that's the very, very unlikely option. Yeah, let's do war extension. Also, what are these massive armies? Prussian nationalists. Poland, don't fight them, please. As much as they would make, as much as you, I know you want to. Don't throw your troops at these rebels. Deal with the Hungarians who are, you know, at your border. How close are they actually to winning this? They're 23, they need like 80%, so... Not gonna let happen anytime soon. Our truce, like, it's expired. Do we just do it? I mean, they have their troops aren't even at full morale right now. Um, is there a general we can have a, like a massive attack bonus attack? Uh, that's in minus fifty percent morale though. 
plus 0.5, minus, so definitely not anybody that's negative on attack. Is there anybody who's just, like, awesome? No, not that I can really see. This guy is probably maybe one of the better ones. Yeah, so let's put you in ch oh, oh, we're at war. We can't really switch people out with the losing prestige. God damn it. Well, first things first. We need to actually get our troops so we can actually engage both 24 stacks at once. These supply limits are pretty, pretty bad. What are their modifiers, actually? National assimilation? It doesn't matter. And that's a territory... Wait, why do you need to assimilate them? You're it's already pure Russian. So there really shouldn't be, think, be any revolt risk there, but who knows. But I think what we need to do is we do need to mobilize. I don't know. Oh, we're actually, we're at war, so we're actually not, not going to get a penalty for mobilizing. I know some mods have it where if you mobilize while not at war, you will, uh, there's like negative consequences. I think you get like infamy ticks and stuff like that, but, you know, we wouldn't be doing that. Also, these, these borders actually don't border each other, so we'll go like here and go straight to Novgorod, try to take out this troop. Oh, patriotism's always nice. Uh, let's get... You're not even on the border, technically. But we need to do, like, a very, very quick victory against them. Because I don't think Scandinavia at the moment can really do anything. I, they might, they just might not get involved because they're at this massive war with Bohemia. Permanent please plus point two. The National Conference, which was something again. Prestige 50, lose 10 prestige for research points. That's a lot more research points than before, but I can't lose. I can't lose prestige. Like, it's, it's way too important. So we got idealism, which is great. Um, 2% for all of these. Yeah, so that's actually going to be like a 60% research bonus very, very quickly. But I think this unlocks in 1860. Oh, 1860 till the next one of that. I think we need better rifles. More ta- ah, 1825. I mean... What, what, what's, what's Novgorod have? Are they still on, like, pure the space text as well? They have one more than we do. Scandinavia has two more than we do, so we are lacking a little bit. So how about we go with, um... Organization could be useful. Yeah, it's a lot of organization. Allows stables. Allows horses. Wonderful. Um, actually, railroads probably are definitely going to be important. Like we, we have no, we have no rail infrastructure in this country. So yeah, so these guys are all kind of gathering, but I think we need to attack like now. Um. I think we'll just go for whatever is the lowest cost in case we need the piece out quickly. Like this one. It's just this. That's worth three war score, that tiny little province. Well, we're not going to go with that one. Let's go for, um, this one's 15, which I think is the second. In that, oh, that, oh, we can't take that. That's not even bordering us. Okay, well, let's at least att well, attack for the three. It doesn't really matter because they're all going to be free on Infamy. So, we'll declare our war on Novgorod. Bohemia, can we call them in? They will accept. But now that we've declared a war, we definitely need to march our troops in, like, now. Yeah, so they've joined. I So, that, I have no idea what happens if they also have scanned. If you join Civil War 2... But let's see, so they got 3129, we have 699, so they have more artillery, I think infantry is actually the second number, for some reason there's like switch. So they have more infantry but less cavalry. This one has, they have less artillery. Well, we have enough troops I think that can theoretically reinforce, we have 224 stacks to be able to aid each army. Yeah, these guys just need to go to the front like now. May 14th, so with, but with half morale, I'm hoping that they just break a lot faster. They do have a bigger front line than we do, which can be an issue. Wow, 
23-21. We are winning both battles. 29.8. Do we chase them? Yeah, I think that's what we need to do. But we'll chase them actually with the stronger armies that didn't actually fight those last battles. This one might actually need two. We got 4th of July, 15th of June. 14th of June. The 13th of June. Okay, so this 6th stack will be gone. But... We, they, they are going to be on the attack again, so... 12th of June will be there on the 10th of June. Are you a good defense leader? Def oh, you're actually really good. You have pure positive stats on that guy. Fantastic. But I'm just hoping if... What do you do? No, you you need to stay. You go here. Actually, no, you go here. And if we can catch all this 9 stack, that would be great. Let's complete, completely destroying that army. Completely destroying this Nongrod army. So if we, I just, we just need to take as much territory as possible. But the problem is we need to do it also before Scandinavia gets involved. Because if Scandinavia gets involved, then when Scandinavia gets involved, it, if we have like, let's say, 70% war score against Novgorod, and then Scandinavia joins, our 70% is going to drop down like 10%. Just because it counts all of Scandinavia's territory, because they're going to become the war leader. And we'll have none of this massive territory siege down. So we're going to get like no war score out of it, so... I think that's what we need to do, is just win... Oh, we can't take this much attrition, though. Just quick, decisive battles. Model colony? Fantastic. And I keep all these guys. 0.9 war score. Fantastic. You just keep sieging. I mean, I would like to take it back to territory that we lost. Bohemia probably isn't going to get too involved in this. Like, they're fighting a lot of wars right now. How, but they're not close to actually winning against Scandinavia, and they're not close to losing against Scandinavia. So this war with Scandinavia is going to drag on for a long time. And hopefully that means that the Scandinavia will just be distracted for a long, long time. That we can kind of get everything we need done. Yeah, you guys march up to this province. I guess you just kind of stand... Well, what's the supply line here? 32? Yeah, you can just kind of stand there. I'm sure that'll be A-OK. -okay. Nothing bad can happen. Yeah, they're already wanting to surrender. We have a 21 stack here. About to enter our, about to enter our actual territory. These guys are actually going to that province. So you go to uh, Gaelic. So I think next, I think we want to get Traver. Oh no, don't. We need, we need to add more stuff. The Traverse 23, 27, 15, well, we'll take Traverse because that's the territory we lost initially. Yeah, they're mobilizing right on top of our army, so, but what are you? You're, you have no cavalry, mostly infantry with a little bit of artillery support, so hopefully, they're going to march here, and this is planes? No, it is woods. Yes, yeah, so we have a 20 sec. They did take an attrition take whenever they landed in the province, so that is great. Yeah, okay, you guys just kind of keep marching north. 25%. And I'm hoping that... I don't I don't know if this is the way the AI even works, but I'm hoping that having Bohemian in the war means that they're more likely to surrender, just because, you know, the numbers are vastly in our favor, 87 to 27. So they might just give up. Ooh, Neptune's discovered. Good work, Croatia. Yeah, let's keep chasing this army down. Kind of keep marching our troops north. Because there's nothing else we can do, right? Fire, liberate country, make puppet. Make puppet would... No, make puppet doesn't work. Because it's not... What the thing specifically says... Is... Owned by us. Or in the sphere. It doesn't matter. Like, they can be satellites. It doesn't matter. Or satellites don't count, is what, I, is what I'm meaning to say. Yeah, well, quarantine. Cholera is generally, I would say, a bad thing. Like, they would not... They wouldn't surrender. 34. This were 27. I'm surprised that they would just keep fighting. They have 18 brigades to our... To our 59. Also, we're, we're in ace place right now. Fantastic. How far is that behind? 111 to 108. Japan? We got a few more points ahead of them, so... Hopefully, also when we win... Uh, we'll get some prestige. I don't know how much prestige we're getting out of this. 
We'll get eight, actually. Fantastic. But we're currently at 36, so... Next will probably be Perm. Actually, well, Gaelic is slightly cheaper. Yeah, I think... I mean, it'd make the borders look absolutely dreadful, but... Yeah, just kind of keep marching north. Gather all of our troops. I'm imagining these are maybe... Okay, well, there's still some cavalry there, but they are mostly mobilizing. See, they're already wanting to give up. 39, we don't even have the war score. You know, for 39 to 43, they'll say yes. So, I think we can... 31, actually, take everything? It did go up. 43. It would go up to, like, 74. But they're still not close to winning against Scandinavia, so I think we can do it. And even if we can't, as long as we take three states, our prestige will go up. Because we'll lose seven from lose from not taking one of the worst scores, but we'll get plus 12. So it does balance out in the end in our favor. I mean, not as much as if we just win. If we win, we get like 24 prestige, which will put us solidly in eighth place. And maybe even solidly put us into, um, might even actually put us into seventh or like sixth. Which would be pretty, pretty awesome. Sadly, so many of the new territories we're having to conquer are just like really, really far north. So hopefully we don't take too, too much. Like, what's the attrition? 22, 16, 15, 14. Yeah, we'll take a lot of attrition if we go too, too far north. We're at 54 out of 74. We do need to siege down the territories that we actually need for... um. Because if we actually have the states occupied, they're more likely to say yes as well, so... So hopefully sometime soon they will... ...just surrender. 74 to 60. I'm assuming if we get maybe to 65... ...they would accept. Taking all four? Yeah. Oh. Oh, Novgorod, Novgorod, Novgorod. You shouldn't have done it, buddy. You shouldn't have... Well, we'll demobilize now, because we don't need to be mobilized. We'll get our troops out of the province, or out of the country. Are these... They won't support our troops, will they? Because their supply weight is... It doesn't tell me. Fantastic. Well, like, you, you, what's your supply weight? Your supply weight is... Uh, as long as it's below 23, actually. So, yeah, all this will be fine. We'll keep you on the border of Sabir. You can go here. You can go there. And then, yeah, you can go here. And that is what I would call a very, very, very successful war. Put us up to seventh, pl sixth place now. Uh, with 140 points. Overall, we're only slightly behind Spain. So, you know, Muscovy, we're making a name for ourselves. We are becoming a major, major player. Especially in Eastern Europe. We are absolutely dominant. But now it's kind of the question of, if we become Russia, we're going to become Russia sooner rather than later, I would say. And what do we actually, like, we can go towards Sabir, but is there a reason to go towards Sabir? Probably not. They have only 250,000 people. When we become Russia, we will just have cores on it, so we can just full annex them. But because we don't have any, um, we don't have colonial points, also we can't colonize any because the life rating is too low. Because we can't, we can't really colonize, you know, Siberia. Just, just, we just can't do that. I don't know if this is a little bit higher. No, this is stuff down here is 35. So we took them over. Like, this is 15, 15. So we couldn't. But this stuff is. So what we could theoretically do if we want to expand into, like, these states over here, where the life rating is actually high enough that we could colonize them right away, is we would need to go to war with the, uh... The Zungar? No idea how you even pronounce that. But we need to take this state. We need to take Tantuva. Very, very low population. I mean, I'm assuming all this stuff is just have, like, nobody in them. 500 people. But for us to take this stuff, we would need to take over this state. Because we can't colonize north. So we take over Tantuva from this guy who only has, what, like, 19 brigades? He's 26 brigades now. But, um, he's had, like, to the Mughals. But, you know, that's not, not really that big of a deal. But we take over Tantuva. We can colonize more of Siberia, which would definitely be useful, because we can probably get our troops all the way over here. I mean, it'll look really awkward with Ennu, who is a satellite of the Japanese, and I don't know if we can really fight Japan at the moment. 
But yeah, I think that's probably what we're going to do sooner rather than later. Actually, what we could do is put our truce with this guy who's done. We can also annex him. But I do think it's going to be a good time to end this video. So thank you for watching. My name is Anthem. If you've enjoyed, run a thumbs up. If not, enjoy, can always thumbs down. Watch more, subscribe, and goodbye.